cheapest Madden 18 Ultimate Team coins around, check out GoFifaCoins.com and use code ZERK for 5% discount on your order. What is going on guys? It is Zerk from today with another video. Today I'm going to show you guys how to complete these Michael Vick challenges very very easily now there's a couple of these that some people are having a very hard time with and specifically it's going to be two now 173 rushing yards in one game and 4,000 rushing yards with a quarterback is a lot to get but i'm going to show you guys exactly how to get this very very easy and you can get this within a couple of games it probably won't take you more than 30 minutes maybe but all you have to do is have the 75 overall Michael Vick you have to make sure that he is starting so let's take a look at his stats and honestly his throwing stats are absolutely terrible 59 short 60 medium and a 60 deep but he does have it does have a 85 speed and an 86 acceleration so he's a pretty fast quarterback of course now the only thing you need to do to be able to do this well two things first off you need to have the Browns playbook now I'm not too sure if it's in other playbooks but if anyone knows let me know down in the comment section below but you need to have the move the sticks tier one chemistry now the reason you need to do this is because the soul challenge we're going to be doing is going to be in the chemistry souls and i'll show you guys that in a second but as you can see i have doug martin zach streif and bruce matthew so that's why i have my move the sticks tier one now the soul challenge that we're going to be doing is actually going to be the move the sticks tier one but it's not going to be the first soul challenge it's going to be the third one now the reason it's going to be this one is because because this is the tier one it's an arcade mode now arcade mode if you guys don't know what arcade mode is basically it's extremely easy it's easy to break tackles and you're way faster than everybody they're not going to take the right angles they're not going to be able to attack you very easily and you're going to get a ton of pancake blocks now this soul challenge all you need to do is complete 15 passes to beat this challenge so of course you're not going to even be throwing the ball so very very simple and i'll show you guys what you need to do once we get into the game if you guys also want to complete the other soul challenges on the way, because of course you're going to have to if you don't have the third one completed. Now, of course, when you do the third one, if you do it over and over and over again, I don't think it matters if you lose or not. I'm pretty sure if you lose, you'll still be able to keep the objectives and all the rushing yards that you're going to be able to get. But of course, when you play these first two solo challenges, the first one is to throw a touchdown and this one is just to have three completions. So this one will also help you with your stats. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is once you do the kickoff, you're going to want to... Okay, Okay, so make sure that you have the Browns formation. You're going to want to go to the Wildcat. Now, what you're going to want to do is go to the Packages, and you're going to want to go to QB. Now, you hit the right stick, and as you guys can see right there, it says QB, and then you can just sub in somebody over here if you need a better run block or whatever. Like, Demarius Thomas is a very good run blocker. Now, all you have to do is run the play. Now, since this is arcade mode, it's very, very easy to do. So, what you're going to want to do is just do this. And, as you can see, arcade mode, Mike Vick, very, very fast. Get a decent block. And we actually just stiff-armed that guy right there. But if we had a better block, we would have been able to take that a lot more longer. But as you can see, 16 yards right there. I'm just going to run hurry up. And basically, what you're going to want to do is you don't want to score. But you want to go out at about the... Just, I mean, if you can, you can go out at the one yard line. But basically, do not try to score. As you can see right here, we get a lot of rushing yards right here. And we're going to go out at about the two yard line or so, the three yard line right there. And then what you're going to do is you're going to want to run a regular play, not with Michael Vick. Just run a toss play or whatever you want. So we'll run a toss play right here. And just hand the ball off to your running back and run all the way back. Now, all you're going to want to do is just keep doing this over and over and over again. Now, if you do accidentally score and at halftime, I don't think that you get the ball. But once again, the only ch completions to do, well, the, well, to complete this whole challenge, what you're supposed to do is throw 15 passes and complete 15 passes. So, as you can see, Doug Martin, one rush for negative 93 yards, but that does not affect Michael Vick. So, all you have to do is keep running this Wildcat play. So we're going to run it once again, and I'm going to show you guys just to go out. Now, make sure you don't get a safety, but if you do get the kickoff, just make sure to go out, you know, below the 10-yard line, maybe at like the 1 if possible, but just make sure you get out of bounds. As you can see right there, Mike Vick, this is arcade mode, like I said, so it's extremely easy to juke out these computers and just do whatever you want. So when Mike Vick right here once again, now we have almost 200 rushing yards in just two plays, 165 rushing yards, and you can just keep doing this over and over again. 
Now, the 100 and I think like 60 rushing yards, whatever you need to get the in one game with this Mike Vick is extremely easy. Now, if you keep doing this over and over and over again with Mike Vick, you can easily get at least a thousand or two thousand rushing yards and make sure to turn Excel, Excel clock off because I actually have Excel clock on right now. It's why the clock is ticking down to three seconds and make sure you turn it up to 20 seconds remaining on the play clock so you get even longer to play. And one second, we're just going to run back here with Doug Martin. Now, it doesn't matter if you win the game or lose the game, I'm pretty sure. So you can just keep doing this over and over again and keep getting yourself these same stats. Now, make sure if you do lose the game, though, to exit because that way your stats will stay now i'm pretty sure you have to exit correct me if i'm wrong but i'm pretty sure you can't just hit restart or your stats will go away so as you can see fourth and goal now if you want you can score now just to make sure that you will win the game and your stats stay now as you can see juke out the linebacker right there mike vick can we beat this corner up the field and unfortunately we do get tackled but as you can see 208 rushing yards and we ran them all four times Now, all you're going to want to do on defense is come on a field goal block because if you come on a field goal block, the QB will automatically audible to a pass and then they'll throw a touchdown and then once again, get the ball, go out at about the 10 or even, you know, the 5, whatever you want to do so you can do this over and over and over again and it doesn't matter if you, you know, restart the game because some people seem to think that if you do this, you're not going to get credit for the yards, but you will every single time. Just like I showed you guys how to get a ton of Mutt level XP, this works the same exact way. It doesn't matter how many times you do it over again. Your stats are still going to count for the passing yards, and you can also, you know, use these move the stick souls or just the chemistry souls in general. As Tyra Taylor is absolutely terrible. Can't even hit a wide open receiver. But you can use these to get the passing yards as well because some of these are, you know, the arcade mode. And you just got to find the right solo challenge to do for the passing. And of course, with Mike Vick, his stats are absolutely terrible for passing the ball. So you definitely do not want to play online with him and try to pass the ball. You can play online and do like read options or something if you want. But of course, this is easily the best way. As you can see, we already have 200 rushing yards. And it's not even the end of the first quarter. So we're easily going to be able to get 1,000 rushing yards. And they just scored right there. So then we just got to wait for the PAT. And then all we have to do is get the kickoff. Go out below the 10 yard line and run this wildcat again. Now, I'm not sure if this is in a different formation or not. So if it is in a different, or not formation, but a different playbook. If it's in a different playbook, let me know down in the comment section below. Because I'm not really too sure which playbooks, but I do know for a fact it is in the Browns. It's a playbook I'm using right now. And it has the QB. So we're at the 11 yard line. We're just going to take this kick and back out about the 3 or so. And then once again, run the wildcat and it's super easy. Because the fact that this is the arcade mode if you want you can go over here and just sub some people and say you know jerry cook isn't the best blocker i can go over here and put somebody else like jack doyle or whoever whoever you guys want to have but make sure that you have decent blockers because once again this is arcade mode but if you have an absolutely terrible team you might not have the best of luck but honestly this mike vick is pretty damn fast and it's super easy to juke out defenders in arcade mode as you can see right here mike vick breaking tackles like he should not be but five rushes for 212 yards now you need to get 4,000 rushing yards of course you're gonna have to play this a couple times but easily the best way to do this and you're easily gonna get the i think like a hundred and something rushing yards in the first game easy like right there i literally didn't even try to juke him out and it was super easy so as you can see right here just gonna speed past him mike vick does have pretty decent speed for the free card but once again the throwing stats are absolutely terrible so once again like i said before go out at the two yard line and then just run a toss play or something run backwards because the running stats they get with your running back whatever they do not matter when it comes to the mike vick stats so we're just gonna run them all again and like i said super easy all you have to do is the wildcat go out at the 10 yard line field goal block on defense and then run backwards with your running back and i'm not too sure why i just ran into them but it's probably best to do a toss play the way you can just run backwards because otherwise you might get sucked into a tackle like this and of course second goal now i have to run all the way back and then just go out and do it again but just like i said the market would with this mike vick as you can see the quarterbacks have been crashing heavily so if you guys want to pick up a quarterback now is definitely the time to you can see andrew Luck down to 230k matt ryan down below 300k rogers of course it's aaron Rodgers, it's gonna be super expensive 90 overall qbs though Derek carr 440k warren moon is 470,000 coins 
Tom Brady is 600k, and if you pull this mic, big congratulations to you. That's a million coin pull, and that's a 3.3 million coin pull. But here we have the 93 overall Mike Vick going for 4 million coins. This card is looking pretty damn beastly. Now let's compare him to the free card that we had to use for that damn solo challenge. And as you can see, it's quite the upgrade. Now, this set is so worth doing in this solo and completing these challenges because of the fact that if you take a look at all these pieces in this Mike Vick set, if you pull the 90 overall Michael Vick or the higher overall, I think there's like a 91 or whatever it was, that card is going for 3 million freaking coins. That would be absolutely insane. Now, you could pull the 84 overall, which is only going for... 20,000 coins, but of course, it's still 20,000 coins. I'm not going to complain. And the 86 overall is going for about 65,000 coins. So that's definitely worth doing. Now you get into the big boys, and we have the 87 overall. This one's going for 240,000 coins. Definitely worth doing the set for that. And then, of course, the 90 is going for a million, and then 3.5 million coins. So this is why this set is definitely worth doing. Now, the thing is, they released Michael Vick so early in the game though, it has me kind of worried of what else they can do because of the fact they released Mike Vick this early and also there's going to be a new promo coming out very soon but unfortunately nobody really knows what the promo is going to be because there's no BCA anymore and I'm not really sure what it's going to be. It could be the new color rush possibly but we're just going to have to see what they're going to do. I hope it's something completely new and newly fresh and I hope it doesn't have any any freaking NAT players because I'm getting really sick of NAT players because my entire team is basically NAT. But that is all I had for you guys today. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, subscribe and comment and let me know down below who you guys pull out of this pack that you get for completing all those challenges because honestly, if I pull this 91 Mike Vick, I'm flipping shit. But I'll see you guys next time.